like Greece. Oh boy. 60 mile right there. Hi. Where are we and what are we doing? Well guys, we are here in De Pere, Wisconsin at the Fox River. Nick and I are with our good buddy Cody Solberg. We don't ask questions, we just catch fish. So, we got the boat here, Cody's boat, we're all rigged up, we just got everything loaded. We are going to dump this in the river and we are gonna get on top of some fish. So, it's a little windy today, but we'll see you guys out there. Well guys, this is super exciting. This is my first time actually out on the Fox this year. Brandon's been down here twice already for the last month. It's my first time, so hopefully uh, get some decent fish. It is windy, super windy, so We'll have to see how that goes, but we're with Cody. He's a big time guide, you know, so we'll be all right. They're coming to pick me up right now. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. Alrighty, well, just got to the spot. Again, apologize for the wind. Very windy out here today. We're gonna try to keep our backs to it. Before we get started, just wanna talk about our equipment here real quick. I've got a six foot nine BDM Extra Fast Action Walleye Series rod from Kate Outdoors. And I've got that paired with my PC Fun Carbon X reel. We're gonna be starting the day with some blades. Get her out there. As you can see, Cody's got the boat all rigged up with the old live scope, even in the back for the grinders in the back of the boat. Not bad. And we got the sniper marine pole. Check that out. Give her a little twist, a little turn. Live scope turns. That is nice. Very ideal for out here. How's it feel to be on the river, Nick? Feels good. Feels good. Long rods feels a little weird, but I'll get used to it. I caught that giant, that like humpback, 26, 27, whatever that was, out on, when we were up uh, in North County. That was on that river. No, the first day we tied. First day we tied. There's a fish. The old hair jig. Custom made. Well, it's been a long time coming, but we're on. It's a good Not one, too. <laughs> Not a bad fish. Oh, wow, look at that on the old hair jig. Well, first open water walleye for me on the Fox River. Came on the old hair jig. I know in the intro, Brandon said was, we were throwing blades, but uh, yeah, that changed. Changed real quick, these fish being pretty stubborn. So we had to switch up to, what is this, quarter ounce hair jig. Cody tied himself, popping off the bottom real subtle. And uh, yeah, that was actually like first cast over here. So might be onto something. Brandon might have to switch to a little uh, jig himself or maybe a plastic, I don't know. Something probably besides a, a blade but first fish feels good felt good get back out there and see if we can get one a little bit bigger oh, get a release off she goes little fatty female get the day going if you guys are interested on the rod that i am throwing this is a cade outdoors rod um, we don't really talk about what we've been using we've been using these now this is our second year he is local central wisconsin these are uh, made in the usa and this is a medium extra fast it's a little heavier duty just for this but for throwing blades and ripping wraps like out here and on the bay it's a perfect rod but it's all i have in the boat right now so using it for some hair but overall fantastic rod and if you guys want to support local and if you want to support something made in the u.s i would definitely check them out we'll leave a link down in the description but yeah first fish Let's see if we can get some more as long as it's not out here i'm sure he won't want to be in here if he can get out there, he's gonna be out there. Huh? Well, that's where I'm gonna go next time. 
that's Metro. Uh, Fox Point's kind of on the river. I can drop it in tomorrow. For it, so. Oh, I love walleye fishing. Second one on the hair. Felt him pick it up off the bottom. I was just talking about how much I love fishing river systems. And then I got hooked up. Mm, that doesn't feel... It feels interesting. That's a nice good one. Wow, look at that. Second one. Second female. That's interesting, huh? <laughs> normally, normally you get a bunch of males, but... Second female, let's go on the hair jig. Let's go, Nick. I know, I know. All right, second one on the hair jig. If you guys have not thrown a hair jig, I would highly recommend it. It's one of the most effective ways uh, to catch some finicky walleyes. Just early season cold water, it's, it's a staple. But when you are throwing the hair jig, you can see we got a stinger hook on there. Now, me, myself, personally, I used to throw this without a stinger, and then the last couple years, well, Cody and some other guys have shown me this because a lot of the times I was getting nipped and wasn't getting the hits because if they're biting super light, they're not going to be taking the full thing like this exposed to this hook. They're going to be just nipping at the back end of it, and as you can see, that stinger is just sitting right in the back. So if they're short grabbing it, you're still going to be able to get them, and that is exactly what happened to that fish. And this is another nice one. Another fatty. God, this fish is not that long. In the 20s, but fat. I mean, she is plump. You can tell this one definitely came from the bay because this one is pale. I'm used to very gold fish up in northern Wisconsin. Not saying this is an ugly one because I respect all walleyes, but it's definitely paler, which is it's interesting how you can go south and the colors of the walleye change, but Another gorgeous fish, second one for me. I don't know what the other guys are doing, personally. Um, mainly, well, Brandon's not throwing hair, so I think I see him switching right I might now. be switching right now. Yeah, he, he's seeing how it's done and he's switching, but another nice fish. I'm gonna grab a picture and then dump her back. Man, that is a fat one. Holy cow. Off she goes. Awesome. So funny because before that fish hit, I was just talking so much smack about how I'm so much better fishing a lake than I am a river system and how much I love rivers and then that fish hit. It was like kind of like a, hey, you're talking talking some crap. I'm gonna hit and show you something. That was funny. But two on the hair, Brandon just switched. See if we can get a couple more. It is big. What is going on here? Oh, we're just dialed on some catfish. <laughs> big one. Just caught one. This one's bigger than Nick's. No, Cody's got a big one on. I thought Nick's was pretty big. Giant. I got him. God. Oh <laughs> my. God. I didn't even get a figure net. 
<laughs> that is a giant flat here. It's so funny because the one I got the other day is... They both ate hair. Still bigger than that. God, that thing is large. I can't believe they ate that. Two Fine. in a row. Look at that thing. Oh my god. He's a freaking tank. Holy. That's why we're out here, baby yeah. cats. <laughs> Big old kitty cats. Look the at funny that. thing is, like a couple days earlier this week, I uh, probably caught one that was three times the size of this one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they get a lot bigger. <laughs> Not the target species, but they're no. still cool fish. Oh, that's neat. All right. See ya. Well, guys, I don't know what the heck I did out here today. Apparently nothing right. Luckily, Nick was able to land a couple nice fish. We wanted to just get out for a couple hours. Cody does have a trip out here tonight. So we decided we are going to pack things up so that Cody can get back and get his clients out here tonight. They're gonna to be doing some trolling. The day bite has been tough, as you guys saw today. But luckily, we do have the live scope with us. Pan it over here so you can see. This is what we're doing. Again, very slow approach. I was using a little bit more aggressive baits today. I did switch to hair. Nick was using the hair, Cody was using the hair, and that's what was working for us. So we've got the live scope here, and we've got the sniper marine pole. If you guys haven't seen this, this thing is pretty sweet. Rather than turning this entire unit here, you can actually just give this a little twist. You'll see this guy up top turn, and that's pointing directly where your transducer is. So on the live scope, I can go ahead and turn this, and you can see, moving around, we're seeing those fish that are tucked tight to bottom. They're hanging out on the rocks right now, that's what we're looking for. Luckily we were able to get a couple of them. I don't know what the heck I was doing. I tried, I got some white fish, but uh, not the target species. Big old cat from Cody and Nick. Nick, that was a nice fish you got, but I think Cody got you on that one, but you. I was more actually impressed with the walleyes that I yeah, caught. Yeah, you actually I caught some really, nice walleyes, so. The cat was just a bonus for <laughs> that me. That was a bonus, those are fun. I don't know what the heck I was doing out here today, but you know what, we had fun. We're gonna pack things up, and we will see you guys back at the landing. Well, that's about all she wrote, huh? Yeah, made her back to the landing. Luckily, Cody was able to uh, get us on some fish. We just wanted to get down here for a couple hours right before you gotta get out for a trip, but it was still fun out here. Yeah, I wish we could have went to Green Bay today, but it was just, the wind just wasn't doing it. It wasn't in our favor today, so we stuck it in the river, wanted to try and pound out a video out here. It's been really tough. Uh, the water, water's really low out here, so that day bite, that casting bite is just, hasn't been what it normally is. Uh, the night bite's great. We're catching all sorts of fish at night, uh, which is actually what I'm going to do now, and I know we're actually gonna crush them tonight, but it's gonna hopefully start getting better here. Hopefully we get some rain. A little bit of uh, precipitation would be nice. Push some more fish from the bay into the river. Well guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave us a thumbs up and a comment down below. We appreciate you guys tuning in. This is, uh, it's been a crazy spring for us already. This is our third time down here now. A month later, a month after when we came down here the first time. We caught more fish a month ago, but fish are getting better. Like we said earlier, the fish that we caught earlier this year were more resident fish, smaller males. Now we're starting to see some of those bigger females push in. Like Cody said, it's really tough. Grinded out here for uh, probably about two hours or so. And luckily we were able to get a couple nice ones in the boat. So again, if you guys enjoyed, smash that thumbs up button for us. We'd really appreciate it. Comment down below what you guys want to see from us here in the future. We're probably going to be on the Fox quite a bit. We do have a tournament coming up soon. We're probably going to be out on the bay, all the other rivers, of course, as well. So that's all I got for you guys out here today. We'll see you guys on the next one. Tight lines from NBS.